Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com. Uh, nightly wrap up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody had uh, a good uh, trading day. If you are uh, brand new to the channel and you found us here for the first time, uh, thank you. Thank you very much for your viewership. If you could be so kind, guys, so all we ask is take one second, uh, click a like, uh, share, subscribe, come aboard. And again, like we always talk about in every video, we'll try to uh, give you the most unbiased opinion for the next day, not for three weeks from now, and not what I think is going to happen by 2096 for the next uh, Olympics in uh, in Prague, right? The point is, we're trying to get the data, uh, interpret the data, and get ready for the next uh, trading session. So let's talk about it. Um, two weeks ago, we lost the 50-day moving average on the NASDAQ 100. Uh, great swan dive, absolutely great swan dive. Uh, we went from 435. Uh, all the way down to 413 on the queues in about six sessions, which is great, which is absolutely great. And earnings came in, right? Technology earnings. And this was pretty much um, kind of a do or die situation for this quarter for future price action. And so far, the reaction to earnings has been very, very positive. Uh, even though Tesla had a horrible quarter, let's call it what it is. It was an absolute horrible quarter the worst quarter since 2012, it was so oversold and the, and the earnings were so baked in that the stock rallied. And then uh, I think it was last night or this morning, whatever the case may be, uh, there was a headline that Tesla and Baidu, of all people, uh, are doing a joint partnership for its maps. Uh, China, the big story is obviously not the maps, the idea that China is apparently approving their self-driving uh, car, considering there's 1.16 billion people in China, that was kind of a big deal. And you saw a tremendous, an absolute tremendous run-up on Tesla, up you know 15% on the day. We'll get to the pivots in a second. Uh, you had Microsoft you know, have a pretty good earnings quarter. Uh, stock really hasn't done anything uh, ever since uh, it came out with earnings. So we've got to keep an eye on that. Uh, Google, the earnings were pretty good. You know, a little bit of profit taking the last couple of days. And tomorrow we have uh, SMCI, right? You have SMCI that has definitely been one of the bigger movers in the last two years. You have AMD and you have NVIDIA. What do all three of these stocks have in common? Well, they're the leaders, right? They're the leaders in the SMH group, which are the semiconductors. So we're going to see further price action reaction uh, tomorrow evening, right? So it's going to spill over into the next uh, trading session. Uh, we also have reports tomorrow from Starbucks, from Triple Triple M Pre Market, Coke. So there's a lot of you know a lot of components uh, in play uh, going into tomorrow's session. But the whole thing, remember, guys, the whole thing. You got to take a step back and, and look at the whole big picture. The whole thing is happening still below the 50-day moving average. Now, yes. The bulls are doing a tremendous, tremendous job, especially in the start of earnings season, that they're slowly but surely starting to get above. And you can see here today, we closed back above the 20 day. So we're literally in, in view, right? We're literally in view in this, in this light blue line. This is the 50 day moving average. Once we get back above the 50 day moving average, it's going to be risk on for everything. Because again, once the queues get above, while well, all its members are going to start crawling back above as well. So tomorrow we're definitely going to have um, we're definitely going to have uh, a lot more clarity tomorrow evening with SMCI, AMD, and uh, Starbucks. And if that wasn't enough, uh, sorry, I, I said in the video, I say Amazon, right? Amazon has uh, an earnings report tomorrow as well. Uh, there is chatter, and again, take that for what it's grain of salt. But there's chatter uh, ever since Meta came out with their first divi. And Google came out with their first Divi. There's chatter that Amazon uh, might come out with their uh, first Divi as well. Again, chatter. It, it's all you know. It's all tongue in cheek. It's all banter. Who knows? Maybe they do. Uh, maybe they don't. But tomorrow is definitely 
uh, very, very important. So let's talk about the individual names, right? Uh, today, you, you will never, you know, you're really, if you didn't trade today, you, you didn't really get a good example of good understanding how really strong the value was today, okay? We, we talk about this all the time. It's not about the scoreboard, right? If you look at the scoreboard today, Dow up 146 points, uh, S&P up 16, and the NASDAQ up 55. But I tell you, when you have the strongest stocks giving you the biggest value within that trading day, that's an awesome day, okay? That's, a, that's what we call a premium day. When you're getting, borrowing a term from the poker, poker world, that's the jacks, queens, kings, and aces. And today, the two stocks that I, that I trade more than anything else that I have the biggest conviction on between Tesla and NVIDIA, we had some incredible, incredible value. And today turned into be a uh, really strong Monday. I think that's the best way of saying it. A uh, really, really strong Monday. And now the stage is set for a really good potential uh, going into tomorrow's session. So let's talk about the pivots, right? Uh, let's talk about the pivots. Uh, we talked about Meta, right? Meta was one of the ones that didn't have a great quarter, or at least did have a good reaction. The stock still, companies still did very, very well. But unlike Tesla, that the bad news was already in the stock, well, apparently the good news was already in the stock on Meta. And again, we're always prepared on both sides of the market, uh, 446.40s to the upside, 432 to the downside. I uh, here was Meta, right? Here was Meta. It took out the 432 level. This is now the lowest close in this whole formation, including the earnings, uh, the earnings day. So this is the lowest close. It went from 432 uh, to 428. If this thing starts continuing to put lower lows and lower highs in the next couple of days, we should test back the earnings lows at some point, either midweek or end week or early part of next week. So you got to keep an eye on Meta. The longer it keeps on getting rejected above the 100-day EMA, and that 100-day EMA is a, is a very, very important area. We'll get to Tesla in a second. Um, but as long as it continues to build below the 100-day EMA and starts putting in lower, lower highs and lower lows like it did today, like it did yesterday or on Friday, there is a high probability we get back to the 1450 area. So, you know, $4 move on Meta, nothing big. Uh, ALAB, I believe we talked about ALAB on the weekend update. If we didn't, I apologize. But uh, ALAB uh, 8527 uh, needs to build. Uh, ALAB had a really, really strong session last Friday, engulfing really about a month worth of uh, distribution. Uh, it went from uh, 85 and a quarter all the way up to 88 and a half. This, again, this is the highest close in this whole formation. Congratulations for you guys uh, who caught that. Uh, Marvel didn't really do anything. 69.74 needs to confirm the 50-day. You know, went, went up like 30 cents and then, you know, did absolutely nothing. Here was the two trades of the day, right? And again, you really don't need any more. But if you guys remember, Friday, NVIDIA, or NVIDIA, potato, potato, whatever you want to call it. I know people get triggered. God forbid you use the wrong word. But NVIDIA, or NVIDIA, right? If you guys remember last Friday, it reclaimed back the 50-day moving average, which is obviously a bullish thing. So this morning, there was weakness in the stock. And we needed a test back to the 853 level where it reclaimed for a potential bounce. This was an unbelievable bounce, guys. 853 is the 50-day support potential bounce area for experienced traders. And yeah, we took we took the bounce, the 853 bounce. The guys, the low of the day was 852.66 and the stock closed green. You're talking about a $25 bounce. And now we are back, folks. We are absolutely back at the top of the range here going into tomorrow's session. Again, tomorrow, SMCI, AMD all report after the close. So it's not going to affect a potential pivot tomorrow. But if NVIDIA put in an inside day today, and that's all it was, successful back test into the 50 day. Guys, watch this thing for tomorrow. If this thing could just get above this channel here, okay, if you could just get above this channel here for tomorrow, this thing can open up. We saw 900 weeklies. We saw 910 weeklies. We saw 920s come in. So tomorrow, very, very important area in NVIDIA. And if it could get above this channel here, this thing could really uh, start to stretch. But congratulations for you guys. We're still holding a runner from that 953 bounce. And if that wasn't good enough, again, my favorite stock, Tesla, again, had a massive gap up today into the 192.50s pre-market. 
Uh, it came back in initially. We, we, I only put the pivots onto the Twitter feed. Everything else we do in the webinar bounces, rejections. So it retested back the 187 level on the rise in support. We got long, traded all the way up to the 190, 80s area in the initial move. Now, why was that important, right? The reason why that was important, 190, 80s, because 190, 80s was the 100 day, right? It was the 100 day moving average and it got rejected. If you look at the 60 minute view, you'll kind of see it, right? So it got rejected at 190 areas, excuse me, 190 areas area, and it came all the way back down and, you know, all the way down to like the 184s. And then the stock started reclaiming, right? Reclaiming, got back above, and this is the key pivot of the day, got back above 190.80, right? That was the big spot. Got back above 190.80, needs to reclaim and build all those calls coming in, 200, 210 calls, and yada, yada, yada. Here it is, guys, right above it. You know, we sold it into the top of the range. We are done in the 198s. Now we're looking for a dip for re-entry. Phenomenal trade. I mean, at, at that juncture, we we literally sold into the top of spline. So it's very, very rare you're going to trade a, a stock at the bottom of the range, at the top of the range. But, you know, once in a while, a broken clock is right twice a day. So that worked out uh, incredibly, incredibly well. As far as Tesla goes, uh, look, is it possible the stock gives a rest tomorrow, kind of an inside day of what NVIDIA did today? You know, there's a shot, right? There's absolutely a shot. Keep this in mind. Tesla has gone from 139 to 199 in a matter of five days, okay? So there is a shot this thing back tests tomorrow. If, if, listen, if this starts taking out today's channel tomorrow, I'll be long in the strength. But I want to take tomorrow. If there is any profit taken in Tesla, I'd like to take advantage and buy stock into rising daily support the same way that NVIDIA came today into rising 50-day support and shorts got trapped there. So tomorrow, it's very, very important. Let's see if we can get uh, any weakness in Tesla. Um, that'd be good. And let me give you guys some names to watch for tomorrow. Uh, guys, keep an eye on PayPal. PayPal is starting to get very, very tight, guys. We're not that far uh, away from the January highs. This thing starts taking out January highs. Uh, PayPal could wake up. Look at Qualcomm, right? Qualcomm, first day over the 50-day, first day over the 20-day. Let's definitely keep an eye on Qualcomm if it starts confirming uh, today's channels tomorrow. Uh, look at Micron. You got you almost got the same thing. Watch Micron. All it needs to do is confirm uh, the 20 and the 10-day cross, and this thing could wake up uh, as well. You, you can see the theme here. It's all it, Majority of these names are all semiconductors. So if we get a really good juicy report tomorrow out of SMCI and AMD, Maybe these things are really go gangbusters, but before we could get to tomorrow night, let's definitely pay attention to tomorrow. Uh, we had a really, really strong uh, premium day for all you guys uh, who took advantage of uh, the discount, the trial. You guys kind of saw what we did today, right? You guys kind of saw what we did today. Again, nothing is random. Uh, technical analysis is not uh, a subjective sport or a conversational piece. A stock is either going to clean up supply and go higher or it's going to clean up demand and go lower. Okay, you can go a little bit each way. You can't be a little bit a little bit pregnant. You're either pregnant or you are. And that's the cool part about the PS60 theory uh, combined with pure technical analysis. Whether you're in the trade or not, the stock is either going to go off that level or not. And that's the most important part about trading, having conviction off of a specific level. And if that level does not confirm the proper way and you don't see price action, build above that level or build below that level, depending what level, depending what area you're looking to, to trade the market, then you have a, either a viable no or a viable go. And that's the most important part, regardless of what type of trader you are. But other than that, uh, today is in the book, guys. Uh, great work. Great, great job. We have a lot of value tomorrow. Let's definitely watch the video. Let's definitely watch for any weakness to take advantage of uh, Tesla. And then tomorrow night, we will see how the market reacts to SMCI, AMD, Starbucks, and Amazon. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. Hope everybody stays healthy. And with God's help, I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.